Happy Thursday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit, and thanks for stopping by, and please forgive the hat hair. It was cold outside, and I wore beanie. So, the storms didn't come in like they were supposed to, so no snow, just pretty cold. So, I bundled me and Little Miss up, and we went to therapy. Only to find out that apparently they had called me to say that my therapist was sick, and that she wasn't going to be there, and had even left a voicemail. My phone did not ring. I didn't get an email saying I had a voicemail like I was supposed to. Because I pay for visual voicemail. So, I went through. And this is the second time in... The second time this week that I've missed a call, gotten a voicemail, not got the email. Not got the... They mean, the phone had rang. So I have gone through, I have cleared out every single blocked number. I checked with the vet to make sure that they could actually call me and my phone would ring. So, but that was after we cleared all the, call, um, cleared all the blocked numbers out. And so I think a part of the problem was the vet's number may have been spoofed and that got it put on my block list. Um, somehow... When my call screener app, my caller ID app that's on my phone that I also pay for, um, managed to, when it updated and it changed a whole bunch of settings and didn't let me know that all the settings were changed and I don't go looking in it unless there's a problem, had set the block filter to like insanely high block everything that's not in your block everything but spam callers pretty much actually i think it was even blocking them now that i think about it i'm used to my phone ringing like 10 15 times a day and it's never for me the only time my phone has actually rang in the last week that i can remember is when i lost my phone and i had google ring it for me that came through. The voicemail that it left didn't. So anyway, got the settings readjusted. I've cleared out my block list. Hopefully, and, I, and I've gone through and redid the reconfigured the settings in my visual voicemail. So hopefully everything is situated and I won't have problems like that again. But I'm claiming I earned my skate of yarn today because I, in good faith, bundled my happy little ass up and went to therapy. So, um, now if they had, if I had got that message and just decided not to do anything, no, I wouldn't have got this game. Now, I, if I would have got that message, you know, this morning when she called, I could have gotten up and, because I was awake and dressed, I could have gone to the gym and done water, water aerobics. But, it is what it is. It's all good. Um, so, speaking of water aerobics, tomorrow I'm going to Aqua Zumba. My goal is not to drown me or anyone else. So, if you don't see a video for me tomorrow, which is Friday the whatever it is, 28? No. What is tomorrow? Why does my calendar think it's March? I wish it were March. Oh, tomorrow is the 20th. No, that's still March. Come on. Okay. Today's the 20th. If you do not see a video for me for Friday, um, February 21st, someone call Vasa fitness and tell them to check the bottom of their pool <laughs> but so that is my lovely plans for today now I did finish the itty bitty little corner to corner blanket um, and I even put a little border on it which I think when I do the I am I think sorry cat um, pickier and on 
this because I get frustrated doing the little borders or the edging around it because it's not like doing the normal stitches where you can sit there and you know where it goes. You just kind of have to, okay, let's put one here and put one here. And I am a perfectionist and it drives me bonkers that it's not perfectly symmetrical and evenly spaced and whatnot. And I just need to get over myself. But anyway, this is for the cats. Um, Little Miss is eating the tape off of a box. Here we go. I'll knit myself a beanie or a bandana. Anyway, I'm quite happy with this. This is the regular CDC, so um, I'm going to learn the mini C C2C after this, after this video. I did the, I believe it was the Yarn Joy podcast. They were the ones I found their um, C2C and for left-handed and what I like is the fact that even though she's showing you left-handed, she's still showing you how to do it left-handed, but but read a chart right-handed like most chart makers expect you to do. I don't know that there really is that big much of a difference, but I like the fact that I could sit there and follow the, okay, if this row is already labeled, you know, or the rows are already counted for me with the numbers on them, I don't have to sit there and translate them all in my head. I can just follow like they're on the paper. It makes it easier for me. So she um, and actually sent me a link to her mini left-handed um, corner to corner tutorial. So I'm going to do that um, when I get off here. And I know that I pretty much had the basics down. It's just learning what the, the formula is. So, and I'm going to use all my, some of these say they're Jane cotton. The solid green one says it's milk cotton, but it's all cotton and bamboo mix. It's, this is my eBay yarn, and I'm going to make wash rags and scrubbies and whatnot out of them. And um, so I'll work on the, the mini C to C. Oh, and by the way, no one warned me that it was a yarn eater. This is this is all the yarn I have left. From the second skein. Um, I just. I increased one skein. And then decreased one. And I probably had not. I probably could have done another. Row. But I wasn't sure. And I would have rather had a little left over. Than run out. But. This will. The cats will get this. Um. But I like it. It it does work up fast. It's a yarn eater. Yeah, I put it on the floor and Little Miss is already on it. See if you can see down there. See? She's happy with it. So, but I do have a project that all my, my weekly yarn allowance is going to buying yarns for this specific project. So it's not like I'm just stockpiling random yarn, I'm actually, none of this yarn that I'm bringing in is orphan yarn. Unless Michael's happens to have, like, some massive sell going on, on when it's, when I go to get my weekly yarn, and I don't need any of the other stuff, so. But, no, I also, so that's coming up. Um, my acquisitions, in keeping with my, my itty-bitty cleaning tools, that I don't know what it is about small tools that are just cute and make cleaning almost fun. We have this thing. I'll show you here in a minute when I get put together. <laughs> it's to clean your blinds. And then a little scrubby brush on the end if you need to. Use it to tame the beard that the yarn hag Ryan doesn't she's always giving me grief over my beard. I can't help it that it's this curly. I'm about they make beard straighteners that's basically hair straighteners but tiny. I'm tempted. So anyway, so I got that. Then I got a four pack of seam rippers. 
I mean, we all know what seam rippers look like. Then I got, let's see, we have sugar skull buttons. Come on, focus on me. Not on me, focus on the skull. Oh, well, you can pretend it's been focused. With that, then we have animals. It does not want to focus on them. Whatever. And then we have cats that I can put on. I don't know that I ever have, would use these as actual buttons, but I thought I might put them as like decorations or something on a piece. And then I got these little wooden or fake wooden. I'm not sure what. I haven't taken them out. They, they look wood, but they could also be, you know, fake wood. And again, it will not focus on anything. It says handmade. You can take my word for it. So, we do that. So that's my acquisitions for today. I do have a package waiting for me at the post office. It came in a day early. Uh, if I would have known that when I went out to um, attempt to go to therapy, I would have stopped off at the post office and picked it up because I had 45 minutes between one bus to the next at the post office. And the post office is a block from the um, transit center. So I had... Although I was warned that it's a fairly heavy box, so I'll get it tomorrow. And then tomorrow I've got to mail out a package, so it, it will all work out. I'll just go after the gym. So. And let's see. Like I said, you know, my plans tonight, learning the mini corner to corner, and then tomorrow Aqua Zumba. And just chilling out. I've actually turned the heater on. It's going to be down into like the 20s again tonight. When I leave to go to Zumba in the, or Water Zumba in the morning, it's going to be like 25. And I think when I come out of the gym, it's going to be 33 with a high of 41 tomorrow. But Sunday, Saturday, something like that, it's going to be 67 degrees. So... Warmer days are coming, and it won't be but a, a couple months before I'll be wishing that I had this cold weather again. Although, probably not this cold. So, I'm saving it. This is probably enough yarn to, to make a scrunchie, or probably one scrunchie out of it, and then it will get moved to the itty-bitty spare ball pile that I'm going to use to make those teeny-tiny granny squares that um, crochet rocks did and like I said my 10 year goal was to make a blanket out of those teeny tiny granny crochet squares granny squares I almost call them crochet rock squares yeah anyway I apparently need food because I can't words even worse than normal so have a great evening everyone I will see you guys tomorrow